Hey, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, Christian Hannah Hoare here. And uh, today I want to talk to you guys about what I think the sequel storyline, plotline should be for Halloween 2 or Halloween Returns or Halloween 2020, 19, whatever you want to call it, whatever we're going to find out what it's called, which that's going to be a whole nother topic in itself. But let's talk about what the movie should be about and what it should be like. Here, here's what I'm thinking. Okay, so what was the core of this 2018 movie? What was the core? What was the body about? What was the meat and potatoes in the movie? Uh, it, it was, to me, Laurie Strode. It was about her character. She was, you know, I would say 75% the main character with the, the, da the granddaughter being more of the, the other focal point. So... We get out of this movie. They lock them in the dungeon, so to speak. They lock them in the in the in the in the gun pit in the in the basement, and they 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 lock them in. They burn him up. But when we pan back, we don't see him, do we? So, you know, let's let's take it from here. Let's say that the house burns down. The the you know, the medics come in. The fire department comes in, and they say we we can't we don't see anybody down here. Hence, we get to the next year's Halloween. So, wh whether this movie happens two years from now or a year from now, I do think it should take place one year later. Let's just, he's out. Let, why would he wait? You know, especially if we're saying there's no such thing as Thorn, Michael's not going to wait for that the stars to align again. He's coming back next Halloween. Maybe he hides out. Maybe he lays dormant. They should keep that off camera. I don't think we should find out what he does for the whole year. Let's keep it mysterious, you know, and let's get back to the next year's Halloween. I think... What should happen with this movie is more of an enclosure, more of a tight setting. Uh, kind of like Halloween 2, maybe not as tight as that, but let's stay in Haddonfield. Let's really start to change the focus, though, from... let's. Pa I'm thinking we should pass the torch from Lori to the granddaughter. I'm not so much interested in the, in the daughter of Lori, the mom. Uh, her character, while, while it was good, she should definitely be involved. I definitely think that we should really start to push for the granddaughter being the, the real heroine of the movie. And I'll tell you why I think that is because what we see in the in, in Halloween 2018 was we really we took an interest as, the, as an audience as an audience member myself. I really took an interest in her character because she took an interest in the in my my main character of the movie that I was pushing for Lori Strode, the, the mother. Uh, the daughter of Lori, the mother, she was so much not wanting to be around the, uh, around Lori, etc., etc. So we kind of were a little standoffish of her character, although we see where she's coming from. But the daughter was really g grabbing towards Lori and trying to be part of the of her life and have her in her life. So that 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 essence of her taking an interest in Lori made me want to care for the character more. So I would like to see the granddaughter really take the focal point focal point and I would like to see her become the heroine of the movie whether Laurie Strode should die in the next movie I don't know I, if they do kill her off let's not cheap out let's not just have her get stabbed let's do something let's do something really just holy crap uh, so let's get to where let's get to where I think the movie should go um, I think Halloween next year's Halloween should happen I think you know Everything should be kind of hunky-dory. Everything should be kind of, you know, this and that. And let's say that Lori somewhat got closure. Let's just say, even though they never found the body, she really tried to move on with her life. Let's see her try to be normal. Let's see her having dinner with the family. Let's see her, you know, with her granddaughter watching movies, having a good time. Where she finally tried to get past this. And as soon as that happens, as soon as she really feels like everything's okay, Michael shows up and he's back after the family. Uh, but I would really be interested to see Michael really take a liking more to the daughter as, as so much as Lori Strode. They're a family unit together, but I would like to see Michael really go after the granddaughter. I think that would be interesting. Um, I think it should be a lot of back and forth. I don't want it to be a huge buildup like this first movie was. Like The whole movie is where they, they meet, and once that happens, the movie comes in. Let's really have some tug of war back and forth. Let's have a suspense movie where... It's a cat and mouse situation. I think that would be really interesting. Um, in incorporating the actual Myers house in this would be interesting. Uh, I talked about this last night on the Sausage Factory episode that I was a part of. Check that out, guys, if, if you know know about the show. Let's let's see about getting the Myers house involved in this because even though even though Myers uh, 
is not sister to J to Lori Strode, I still see the house having a lot of significance, especially since they showed the house, the original house, and the house that Laurie Strode made in the movie. They really, they really gave some prompt to that element of uh, the character of Myers herself, the house. So I would love to see them get into this house in the final sequence. And I think it should be, like I said, a lot of back and forth, a lot of tug of war, not a lot of whole lot of just, you know, the climax of them coming together and meeting. Let's have this this battle go on for the better half, the better three quarters of the movie. Maybe uh, I would love to see that. And maybe if we did see the character of Lori die, let it be in a way where we can cap off this whole series. Uh, but Lori dies with Michael. I think that would be really interesting and a really poetic way to end it. Let's have uh, Lori die with Michael in the end. Almost like a Terminator 2 type thing in the vibe that you get with a thumbs up. I think that would be a really good way to close the series. Um, not that I really necessarily just want to see it close, but I think I think eventually this is going to have to end in one way or another. But I would love to see some sort of like climax that gives us the same visceral reaction that we got from H2O because let's be honest let's say the movies would have completely stopped with H2O and that was it that ending was absolutely incredible in my opinion while I'm not a big fan of H2O that ending was absolutely phenomenal I would like to get something like that but just in a different a different a different uh, flavor so to speak I would like to see Lori go down with Michael in a sense. I think that would be pretty poetic in a way. Um, or if they gonna, if they do another open-ended ending, you know, don't try to, don't insult my intelligence and make a, and, and, and kill him and do an, and do a Halloween resurrection scenario where it's just like, oh, well, it wasn't him. Don't insult my intelligence, but I would love for them to really make me think he died, but, you know, we find out maybe in another movie he didn't. But, you know, I think closing the movie, the secret talk, the series off with one more film would be proper. Um, but that's my, that's my, that's my take on it. I'd like to get more focus on the granddaughter. I would like to have more of a cat and mouse, but with the family unit together, what's left the three women with Michael. Not so much of a Michael's got to travel to get to him, this, that, and the other. Um, let's go through the year and let's see Lori try to really adapt to going back to living a normal life. I would think that would really build up the uh the drama so to speak with 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 the character of Lori strode so that's my pitch guys uh, i really hope you guys uh enjoy this video please tell me your ideas in the comment section below i love the dialogue between one another uh please be sure to subscribe to christian hannah for more videos just like this among other great horror related videos and uh support me on patreon if you'd like to you don't have to though thank you guys for watching this is christian hannah and we'll see you guys next time bye